Now then, welcome to another video. So I sat the other day and I was looking at my old Flames of War collection. This is my mid-war Waffen SS, what was a Panzer Grenadier company. I was thinking, how can I use this for rapid fire reloaded without having to rebase everything? Um, pretty simple actually, uh, with a little bit of tweaking. Now, I'll show you what I mean. Right then, so the first thing I've done is I've created command bases. Um, these this represents the camp group HQ. So instead of having the figure separate and then the vehicle separate, what I've done is just stick them all on one base. Um, and this base just is classed as one entity in the game. Um, when you're shooting at it and things, you shoot at the vehicle. Once that vehicle is destroyed, following the normal rules, then the base is removed, um, just to keep it really simple. So that's um, the command bases. Um, any other attachments that you might have to your HQ, your army HQ, such as anti-aircraft gun here, they just follow the normal rules um, and they act separately. Just to keep it nice and simple. I mean, rapid fire reload is really simple anyway, but I'm just trying to make it work with this basing system. So what I'll do is I'll show you the one of the battalions. I'll show you the Lloyd Panzer Grenadier Battalion. Okay then, so Following the organisation chart in the Rapid Fire second supplement, the big red book that came up years ago, um, this is what I've come up with. So you've got an HQ and you've got three rifle companies and then a machine gun company and a support company at the back. Um, so, But instead of having the infantry all individually based or in twos or whatever, what I've done is I've just used my Flames of War bases. So each of these bases counts as two figures. So it'll take two hits and it's removed. So when it's shooting, its shooting value will be one dice per two figures following the normal rule. So it'll be three dice plus one because they're Germans and they've got the, uh, the heavily armed and they've got a machine gun. So four dice per company will be shooting. Um, and it's as simple as that really. All the other rules are exactly the same apart from the morale rules because of the way I've, they're based. What I decided to do is just count up the amount of bases in the in the battalion and half it. So there's 22 bases in that battalion. Once it's suffered um, 11 casualties, then the battalion needs to start testing for morale. Um, if anything, that keeps it even simpler than normal. So you don't have to count individual figures, you just count bases. I um, hope that makes sense. Um, yeah. Simple as that. What I'll do is I'll show you my my full like sort of armoured camp group for 1943 while I'm here. So then what we've got, we've got the camp group HQ as I showed you before. Then we've got uh, an artillery observer. And what I've done is I've made all the artillery to be off table. I don't really like it when the artillery is on the table. It should be it was it'd be miles away, so you can kind of get away with infantry mortars and things being on the table, but the bigger guns. I don't know, it's just a bit weird having them on the table, um, even at this scale of game. So just have them off the table. Um, that's what I prefer to do anyway. So we've got the observer for the artillery. There he is. And his little Kubel wagon. There. Um, the next thing I've got in the HQ, uh, or attached to the HQ really. So we do the HQ, the observer, and then I've got an armoured recce squadron. So we've got two of these, two two twos. These are battlefront models, resin and metal ones. Very nice. And one two two three, I believe it's called, the one with the antennas on it. Slightly different um type of turret on the top as well. Um it's got a machine gun in it, I think. Yeah, so that's a radio version. So we've got three of those um to act as a recce for the armored panzer grenadier uh camp group. Then the three main fighting units we've got, we've got the Lloyd Battalion, an Armoured Battalion and a Panzer Battalion. And then we've got some supporting assets at the back. We've already seen the, uh, uh, the Lloyd Battalion, so we'll have a look at the Armoured one. Okay, then, so the Armoured Battalion, which would be the 1st Battalion of the regiment, the Panzer Gren Grenadier Regiment, um, they're all in 251 half-tracks. Um, so we've got command half-track there, 
and then each company is in a half track as well. So these are the, again the battlefront uh, models. Um, I've done a little bit of green stuff work on them, put like ponchos over the sides and things like that. Um, but yeah, they've all got the crew sat in there. Painted these, God, must be nearly coming up 20 years ago now, I think. Um, Flames of War 1st edition or 2nd edition. But anyway, so we've got three companies, exactly the same as, you, as the Lloyd uh, guys. Support company at the back, we've got the two machine guns. Instead of the mortar team, we've got the 251 slash 2, which is the mortar carrier. There's a mortar sat in there. Antenna's a bit bent in it. I'll fix that. Or maybe I won't. Because life's too short. Uh, it's also got the 251 slash 9, I believe it is, which is the 75 mil gun. Infantry gun in there. That's that one. And it has the same as the Lloyd Battalion, it's got its uh, pack, what is it, pack 38, 50mm anti-tank gun. With its, uh, with its toe. So that is the armoured panzer grenadiers. And then swinging it over, sorry if there'll be a shaky cam going on. We've got a reduced strength panzer battalion. So command vehicle is a panzer 3, long 50mm. There with the uh, the one with the um, the guy sticking out the turret. That's the command vehicle. Uh, then we've got a Panzer II, Recce. That's attached to the battalion. And we've got a squadron of Panzer III. So we've got two 50 mil uh, longs and one 50 mil short. And then we've got three Panzer IVs, which are the long 75s. I think they are. Uh, and these models, I think they're the, are they the J model. They're quite late war, but they're the only vehicles I've, the only uh, Panzer IVs I've got. So I'll use them. It's pretty much the same armament. I think I'll get away with it um, for Kursk. Um, I do have to invest and get get a few earlier models of Panzer threes and fours. I think well, that's those. What we'll look at next is the little supporting elements I've got. So first up then, what we've got is a Marda 3 company. So these are upgrades that you can give the anti-tank uh, battalion, basically. Uh, I've just gone with Marda 3s, because these are the ones I've got. And all the crew on there and stuff. And these are all battlefront figures as well. They're pretty cool. I like those. This one. Next up then we have the anti-aircraft guns. I think these are 20 mil guns. Uh, just on these half tracks with a trailer full of ammo and stuff. I can't remember what they're called. Is it a 20 slash 4? Rings a bell? Did I write on the bottom? No. No. I need to write on the bottom what they are because I can never remember all the different variants. Uh, they're pretty cool. Um, so there's two of those. They've got Two Stug 3s, um, that's an assault gun company. Um, these are the long 75s, again, on the Stug 3s. Good anti-tank uh, vehicles. And that's them. So I painted these a long time ago. Back when I uh, undercoated it all black and then panel painted the entire thing. Madness. Probably wouldn't do that now. But yeah, that's two of those. And then finally, I've got a heavy tank company consisting of just the one Tiger. Um, I've only got one because I've literally only got one model. Um, you can have up to three. But I think the losses um, the Germans suffered at Kursk. I did watch a documentary the other day and it was saying about uh, the Das Reich Division only had one operational Tiger by day two of Kursk or something. Uh, might be wrong there. Something like that anyway. They lost quite a few of them. Um, although they recovered most of them after the battle, but yeah, so that's the tiger, and that kind of completes the force really. 
yeah, so that's a lot of them. So I think using the old Flames of, Flames of War style basing uh, and just using it for rapid fire will work just fine. Um, I'll let you know, know how it goes. Um, what I'll do is I'll make another video on my Soviets uh, and I'll try and work them out as well. Um, yeah, should be fun. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Uh, any comments or suggestions um, on how to do it, uh, leave them below. Uh, I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.